Hi, I'm Punita here from Huawei Global Training Center. And today we're going to discuss about the content E Node B Data Configuration Introduction and Basic Data Part 1. So let's look into the introduction to data configuration tools. So there are two tools to help to configure data for E Node B, which is MAE deployment and LMT. To understand the data parameters well, MML will be used in an LMT is the best way. So this is basically the web LMT and this is the MML command window. Initial configuration procedure by MML. So an E Node B has a default configuration data before delivery. So you need to remove the redundant data such as redundant RF data, bot data, or RU chain data if MML commands are used for initial configuration. So for this activity, we have to activate the configuration file command for initialization. But just take note, this is a high risk command. It can make the OM channel down if you do it from the remote client so you have to make sure there is an auto recovery of the op OM maintain o operation maintenance uh, channel linked so there should be an auto recovery of the OM channel link so basically activate configuration file in the list mode and effect type will be immediately so let's look into this command in our lab so basically i'm just going to demo on the command but i'm not going to ex execute it as it is a high risk command. So basically, it's better to be done on site. So XML will change to list mode and effect type we have to change to immediately. And we have to also emphasize the product type. Example, if this is an LTE network, then LTE product type, then we have to select an LTE product type. So this is the command. So after that, we will move into configure basic data, configure the device data, configure the transport data, and configure the radio data. So where to get the data value? This is more related to the negotiation data. So we have to collect some data or we have to prepare some information before we start configuring the script. So what kind of information we need? Example, network design. We need to know what is the capacity planning and the radio design. So this will help on the basic data and radio data. We also need to know the site configuration, information like hardware configuration and cable connection. We have to collect the transport networking, data negotiation, configuration planning and data templates. So this will help on the other parts of the configuration, which is device data and transport data. So on the other hand, there are four sections in the configuration. We have to configure based on this four section, which is basic data, radio data, device data and transport data so what are the basic data list so basic data list is divided into few sections the first section we have to configure e node b function we need to add the e node b function second part is related to any configuration attribute which is add any set and e third one is in operator level so basically set any can be also optional it's not a mandatory command. Operator. So we need to add the operator information. Add CN operator. So basically, if it's a, it's your operator level is a primary operator, then you have to assign it as a primary operator. You have to also include the MCC and MNC information, mobile country code and mobile network code under the CN operator. CN operator T will be known as a tracking area. So this is basically the tracking area code which will be bind at the cell level later. The fourth one is related to any maintenance mode. So set any maintenance mode basically will change the normal mode to engineering mode example now you are carrying an activity a configuration activity so basically you have to when you are loading the script you have to switch the mode into an engineering mode which is install upgrade commissioning and etc it shouldn't be in a normal mode so that the alarms reported will be stored in as an engineering alarm not as a service impacting alarm all right so these are the basic data list so let's look into the commands one by one. So the first command is add e node b function. So in add e node b function, we'll be adding LTE, the e node b ID, application reference. So basically, we can display the application command to query the application IDs. So this one is the 
display the application to see how many application does the base station have. If it's a standalone base station, it will only have one application. So let's look into this command. So this one is display application. So for display application, I only have one application ID by default available. And this is for eNodeP. So these are the information available, software version, application version, and etc. Next, we move into set any. So as I mentioned earlier, set any is an optional command. So basically, set any will have the information of the network element, deployment ID, user label, site location, site name, and cloud BB. Cloud BB is for interference so you need to have an hardware if you don't have the cloud bb hardware then you don't have to configure this part so what you need to conf you have to configure here you have to know the red deployment based on the hardware so this is the hardware information the network element type whether you are using what product type and what are the function whether this is lte only or whether this is a single red base station so you have to specify the site and E and if multiple NEs are deployed at the same site, this NEs must have the same deployment ID. So that is the function of deployment ID. So let's look into this command. So set any you have to configure, but I'm just going to show you what we have configured for our site. So this is set any. So instead of set, I'm gonna list and show you the configured items for this particular site so this site has a function of ftd e not b120 this is lte they have the software version the product version site location deployment id site name user label and cloud bb identifier is zero so basically, this is the information of the network element, list and E. So if you want to configure, you need to set an E. So let's look into how to add an operator. So if an operator is added on multiple e node piece managed by one NMS, the same operator ID must be configured. So these are some of the tips. So this is the operator ID. CN operator type is primary. The operator type can be primary operator. If you're sharing with another operator, it will be a secondary operator. So secondary operator is added in rent sharing mode. Okay, only primary operator, only one primary operator can be configured and maximum five secondary operators can be configured. So you can actually share with more than five operators, but you must be the main primary. Only one primary operator is allowed. An operator uniquely identified by the PLM and ID okay that is composed by the mcc and mnc so this is the value 460 related to the mobile country code so let's look into this information so i'm going to list the cn operator to view what they have configured for this particular site so list the cn operator So this is the CN operator information. So basically for this particular site, this is CN operator zero. Uh, the operator name is China Telecom. This is a primary operator. Mobile country code is 460. Mobile network code is 06. The PLMN mode is now, and they have the operator function switch. Example, cell traffic trace message is on, and the broadcast switch is on. So they have some switches, uh, features activated here as well. So let's look into the tracking area information. So what is the tracking area, local tracking area ID? So for an operator, a maximum of 18 tracking area codes can be configured. For an E node B, a maximum of 108 CN operator tracking area records can be configured. All right. So basically this parameter will indicate which operator will be using this tracking area code. And for the tracking area code, this parameter indicates a tracking area code. It will be used by EPC. On the other hand, it will be used by the um, co-network to determine 
paging message transmission scope so one tracking area can contain one or more cells so you can actually use the same tracking area to one or more cells so let's look into the actual configuration information so i'm going to list the cn operator tracking area so for this particular site they have configured local tracking area id 0 to cn operator id and my tracking area code is 100 so this is an example of tracking area code so next we're going to look into how to set any maintenance mode to how to set any maintenance mode so basically as i mentioned we have to switch from normal mode to engineering mode. engineering mode can be installed expand upgrade testing and etc so it should be rather than normal and we have to set the maintenance mode example here they have installed they have the start time and end time so when the NE is in special status the way of alarm reporting will change from performance and performance management is unreliable because it will be moved to the engineering mode let's look into the least maintenance mode from our example so when you want to set you have to set accordingly so let's say I switch this to install and I set a time, a specific time and I have an ending time. So when I set it to the maintenance mode, it will change the device and the alarm status. So if I continue, so this current value cannot be changed to install or testing. So they don't allow, so we might need to only change to upgrade. So when you list the maintenance mode, you can see that the current maintenance mode is in normal but they don't allow you to change to install and testing because this is not a new site um, this is not a new site it's an existing site so it should be only expand or upgrade q a session one tracking area can contain one or more cells yes or no the answer is yes so the summary of this section, E node B data configuration, introduction and basic data. We have discussed about introduction to data configuration tools, initial configuration procedure by MML, where to get data value, about basic data list, how to add the E node B function, how to set any, how to add an operator, how to add tracking area information, and last but not least, we discuss about set any maintenance mode. So hope you enjoyed the session. That's all from me. Thank you. Bye.